Near the edge of the line. Part 1. Topic. Koi 102. A prevention in my imagination. Theme. Suicide. He's looking beyond the river, watching the sun go down, as he plans something, and needs a perfect time with it. The clock starts ticking, no one's around. He fearfully begins standing on top of the bridge fences. His eyes filled with pain and frustration look down at the rushing river, a reflection of what he was doing. His body moved over and over, and over again like a violin string being swiped swiftly. He closed his eyes, and took a deep breath. The wind that blew very hard, the birds chirping loudly like football spectators, the swift river that was ready to eat it, and the orange-red reflection of the sunset made it the most anticipated sacrificial event. He started to surrender gently, with a few centimeters away, the hello. To be continued. Short stories hash 7, June 4, 2021. A Wandering Writer, Part 1. Topic, Writer, Theme, Inspiration, Credit for Topic Idea, Crimson. Stuck again. I'm sitting at the desk, with my laptop open and the pages still unpainted white. While tapping my finger on the table, I'm waiting for an idea to pierce my mind. Even though I'm zoning out for a few minutes, still no idea comes up. I begin slapping my face. Losing my hope of becoming a great writer. Some minutes later, I decided to go outside and desire for something magical to happen. I bring my jacket and my wallet if I get into an unpredictable situation. Since I lived alone, I have no one to say goodbye to. I locked my apartment and began my bizarre adventure. Coincidentally a wind starts to blast on, making my jacket flutter a bit. It feels like a bad boy. I smirked. I walk to the elevator grinning, because of the wind previously. People may think I'm a complete idiot, but I don't really mind that much. I went in the elevator, when it was almost closed. Someone running towards me like has been chased. Wait, the person ordered. It's a woman, aged around 22 or 25 years old. Dressing in yellowish little bit of dark. Hair is brown and straight. Wearing some typical woman's accessories. The face has been made of makeup. Seems like she's going on a date. 16.43 PM. Too early. She made it. I'm just silent and watching. She was a little bit exhausted, but then she began to control her breathing. The elevator closes, and I'm back focusing on my writing idea. Thank you, for waiting for me, she said. I just nod my head. She doesn't pay attention to it, but I also ignore it. Few minutes later we arrived at our destination, the ground floor. She then ran quickly, as soon as possible. While I was walking like it was none of my business. She sure is such a pain woman. Now, back again to find these inspiration for my writing. To be continued. Short stories hash 8. June 19. 2021. Searching for approval. I'm sick of these people. Why they didn't care. Or read my work. Did my work not boring enough. Dude, this is a fucking masterpiece. Why people don't read it? I spent like 6 days to this work. I sacrificed my school, my family and my friends. Why the fuck people I, you know what? I'm gonna make these people regret for not finding my work. Ha ha ha. Let's see how these people react when they didn't find my work. They deserve to be like that. Yes, fuck those people that ignore my work. Lol. You think you have power in here? You? Fuck you. You fucking deserve it. Who care being childish? It's your fault for not finding my work. Do you look at that boy? Someone is trying to attack me. Let's see who has the power here. Ha 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 ha. Short stories hash 9. June 27th. 2021. The Journey. Part 2. Topic. Flashback. Who's there? Oh, just me, lonely me. 
Who's there? Oh it's Pear. What is he doing? Well it's not my abuse in SSSSS. S. What now? What? What? My body starts to fall off. And I can't even get up. It feels like something begin to shut me down. Get up you idiot. We must get out of here. A random person taken me in a hurry. While other starts running after pair escape from that thing. Who? What? Why? Why are we running? Who is this person? What happened to me? My thought in deep confusion. Plus my body in unconsciousness. Begin to asking some deep question but no one can't hear me. Pear. They are too much. We can't beat all of them. The person who taken me was screaming. Like he wanted to be eaten by a monster. We are here not to beat them. We are here to escape. Idiots. Pear answered it to reassure the person. Escape. To where? And why though? Damn it. Where's the supply wagon? It should be here by now. Pear panicked it feels like something is wrong. A few seconds later. Something ringing from Pear's pocket. It was his radio. Pear. We lost Malisha's group. What are we gonna do now? Malisha? Didn't I hear that word somewhere? Shit. Why is she always the one who destroys my beautiful plan ha? Huh? Just focused on plan C now. We don't have enough manpower here. Roger. The radio then cut off. While we are still running. Waiting for something. Suddenly a random supply wagon begins to appear at the front of us. You. Pear. Our, the person inside wanted to greet us sarcastically, but was cut off by Pear. Shut up bitch. Just drive already. Alright, alright. You should be nice to me. He replied with a frown face. He quickly stepped on the gas and drove away. We already lost Malicia's group. Did you know that? Pear gives information to the person in an angry tone. He muted. His gesture suddenly change. Who the hell are these people? Where are we gonna go? Isn't this place good? To be continued. Short stories hash 10. June 30th. 2021. <laughs>